I went to the store and I needed to just get some stuff and I was walking back home right there on Van Nuys and Market Street and I see this good looking guy and he's just coming out of the building. He was doing that oh kind of look I was using but at that particular day I was not, I was crashing. And so, you know, I go to the store to buy food to go straight home and lock myself in my apartment for a couple days. I, I heal up and then I use again and I'm on about for another week. He made an effort to turn around and look at me. It was really flattering. And he beckoned with his eyes to follow him around the corner and I did. Parked there on the side of on 11th, just unlocked the door. And so we get back there and we're taking our clothes off. And, um, you know, we do the, yeah, we just, it was really uncomfortable. Because it wasn't like I get on my knees and suck in. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It crossed my mind, of course. Okay, I should tell him or I should ask him if he has a condom. But I didn't want to ruin the moment. I'm Ron. I was born in the Philippines, and uh, my family came here when I was two and a half, three years old. Navy family, so we were primarily in San Diego. I was using math for maybe 14 years of my life. When I first moved to San Francisco, that's how I thought city life was. In the past, my escapades were surrounded around drug use. And the preference I had at the time was using meth intravenously. And I was terrified of doing it to myself. I didn't know how, but I was willing to do anything. So in a way, I prostituted myself just to get someone to shoot me up. When I look back at that situation, it's one of the many I could remember that made me really look deep inside myself and go, what am I doing this for? People have sex with other people for whatever reason, you know, but for me, it, it wasn't because, oh, I was hoping that he would have the drugs because that wasn't the, really the factor. I was doing it because it was something to do. Drugs do that, what does that? You know, it's just a pastime. It becomes so, um, it's, it's like doing laundry, you just do it. I made many attempts to quit, but they were always half-hearted. It was really difficult because you don't know what you're going to be when you get sober. All I knew about my life at the time was around math. And for me to be a sober person was so alien. I didn't know what it was like to function like other people do, to have a normal sleeping pattern. The value I get of being sober is knowing that even if I'm not doing anything for a whole week, it's structure for the next week. Where the simplest things, washing dishes, I find value in um, because it's, um, it's at the it's the moment. It's also it's just rebuilding myself, rebuilding who I am, not for just myself, but what I am with my community. <laughs>